Hello, those of you who have Macintoshes in your classroom and with your students. I want to take a moment and talk to you about the process of podcasts and enhanced podcasts and the role they can play in your social studies classroom. Now, a podcast is nothing more than basically an audio track that has been recorded and can be played back and used uh, when they were first created, they were sort of to be the internet version of a radio program. An enhanced podcast just takes the audio that's there and adds some still pictures to it that are timed and tied to the audio itself. So we're not talking about anything that's terrifically difficult in structure. That said... Let's begin with the process of making one. I have two applications open on my Macintosh. One of them is GarageBand, and the other is the Safari browser, which is minimized right at the moment. We're going to start with GarageBand, and you want to create a new project, and then you want to make sure that that's a podcast, and then it's going to come up like this. You're going to say, okay, I'm going to name my project. I'm going to call it Dem Demo Project. And in a moment, what's going to happen is the GarageBand <clears throat> screen is going to appear. And what you're going to see is this with a set of different tracks available over here on the left-hand side. And right now, the purple is lit up on podcast track. That happens every time you make a podcast because this is where the enhancements go. But the voice goes down in either the female voice or the male voice. And so I'm going to click on male voice here. And this is where I'm going to put my narration. At this point, your students can put in their narration and they can either have written a script or they can do it extemporaneously. And you will need to make <clears throat> adjustments for them based on which it is they're doing. I'm going to, for our purposes, just make a small extemporaneous segment right here that we can work with and we can see what a, a group of students could do with this. So the assignment is going to be that we have to deal <clears throat> with the calling of the Con Constitutional Convention in Philadelphia. And my approach to this is going to be, I'm going to be a reporter. I'm going to be outside the Pennsylvania State House <clears throat> as the delegates come and meet. And I am going to report a brief maybe one minute presentation and in that I'm going to get everything that I can try to get in that would be important about talking about it. So I'm going to make sure that I've clicked on male voice here. I'm going to come down to this red button which is the record button and I'm going to click. Hello I'm Phil White outside the Pennsylvania State House here on a hot hot summer day. And I want to tell you the flies are everywhere. They're just awful. But that's not the story. The story is all the delegates who've arrived here and we are now beginning to meet in the State House. There are delegates from 12 of the 13 colonies here <clears throat> called here by the Articles of Confederation Congress supposedly to take a look at the Articles of Confederation themselves and improve them. Now, I caught Ben Franklin as he was walking into the State House and asked him, uh, just what is going to happen here? And uh, Ben gave me a big smile and uh, a no comment. And this seems to be the way things are going because we reporters are finding that there's not much that we're being able to find out from the delegates. They're inside, they're meeting, the windows are closed, and uh, they've almost shuttered the place up. And it leaves you wondering, what are these people doing in there? Uh, changes to the Articles of Confederation? I, 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 everybody, I think, thinks that there could probably be some improvements to them. 
But just what are these people talking about? We have to wonder. So we'll be here the rest of this week and for however long it takes to try to get some comments from these delegates and find out what's happening with our nation's constitution, the Articles of Confederation. From the Pennsylvania State House, this is Phil White reporting. All right, so I've got my basic audio track here. And you can see it right here as, as it is. And what I'm going to do is click on this and take myself back to the very beginning. And I can play this audio track. Hello, I'm Phil White outside the Pennsylvania State House here on a. All right. <clears throat> so that's going to allow me to play this. And I'm going to be able to now do some enhancements. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to open, whoops, didn't mean to do that. I am going to open my Safari. Here it comes. And I'm going to push it off to the side a little bit here so I can so I can see. And then I'm going to take myself uh, to Google Images. Now this is a little hard to do because you can't get to Google Images at school, but you're going to have to take yourself to some source of, source of images. I'm going to use Google Images because it's quick, but you'll have to find some other source that you can get, you know, you'll have to do a little uh, a search somehow and see what you can find. I'm going to put in Independence Hall. Whoops. In Philadelphia and here we go here's some pictures of Independence Hall oh, there's a nice looking old one I'm gonna pull that up and take a look at it I like that I like that good picture supposedly of the time so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag that picture right up and drop it right up here to Bing in it goes and now it's tied to the text and so for as long as I talk here, right now, that's going to be the picture for the entire duration. But of course, I'm going to want something else. So uh, let me just step over here. I'm going, to, I'm going to scrub forward because I know this will make it faster. State House here on a hot, hot summer day. And I want to tell you the flies are everywhere. They're just awful. But that's not the story. The story is all the delegates who've arrived here and we are now the... Okay, so I want... It says delegates. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to come back here. And I'm going to type in delegates. Constitutional Convention. Gazing. Ah, there we've got some delegates there. So now I'm going to choose this, and I'm going to put that right up here. And that means that I'm going to have that. Now that's, and you can see down here, we now begin to build chapters. And I could actually label these with chapters, and you could jump to them in the enhanced podcast. But here we go with the delegates deal. And let me come back here for a second. And beginning to meet in the state house there are delegates from 12 of the 13 colonies okay 12 of the 13 colonies what would be a good one there i think i'm just going to type in 13 13 colonies zinc there we have some more i'm going to take this one right here and i'm going to pull it right up here and put it here and there we go. Now I'm going to stop here because I'm not going to go on any further um, and, and make a bigger movie. But what I want you to see is see how easy this was. I want you to become uh, rather um, familiar with it and comfortable with it. You can do this rather rapidly. You can do it as a teacher and create something, but that's not really the important matter. The important matter is having the kids do it and create something. And you can see that it's a simple process that they can master and do without any great issues of complexity. Let's save this right now. Um, I'm going to 
bring this back here and I'm going to minimize it again. And I'm going to go up into my up here and I'm going to tell it that I want to that I want to uh, got the wrong thing. I'm going to tell it right here that I want to share this. Okay. And so here we go, share. I want to export this podcast to the to a disk. Uh, for an enhanced podcast, I need it to be AAC encoded. This is going to do it. It's going to try to reset all my artwork to the recommended size for podcasts, a 300 pixels by 300 pixels when exporting. So here we go. I'm going to tell it to export and it's going to come up. I'm going to put this, I have a folder on my Mac called, called audio files. And so here's the name of a demo project. I'm going to save this and it's going to automatically do some work here. And it's going to put this whole thing together. And there I am, I'm done, it's saved. So let me minimize this. And for a second, I'm going to open up, here we go. And I'm going to go to my audio files. And I'm going to look for the one called demo project. demo project here and here we go and it's going to bring this thing Hello, into iTunes. I'm Phil White outside the Pennsylvania State House here on a hot hot summer day and I want to tell you the flies are everywhere they're just awful but that's not the story. The story is all the delegates who've arrived here and we are now beginning to meet in the State House. There are delegates from 12 of the 13 colonies here, <clears throat> called here by the Articles of Confederation Congress, supposedly to take a look at the Articles of Confederation themselves and improve them. Now, I caught Ben Franklin as he was walking into the State House and asked him. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there and you see what we've done. We've got it. There it is. Uh, with a little bit of manipulation of the graphics, you can get much better graphics in it and everything. But you can see it's very simple to put this together. You have the Macs. You have the software. You have the ability to do it. You need to put your students to doing it. They're going to love it. And they're going to work hard to put together projects that draw together all the information in your history class and put it together into a really well compounded, well-created product, which is what you're really looking for because at the top of our Bloom's taxonomy is create. And so we want the students to create something with the history that they've been working with in class. That's this little demonstration. Hope that it helps you in your Mac classroom.